This XRP rally is impressive as we've now seen XRP surpassing the $24 billion market cap mark. Let's leave this screen and go into this one. Oh God, oh, sorry, sorry. I did not want you to see that, but let me know in the comments below, what do you think about Ripple Labs and Seller Development Foundation getting involved with the likes of the World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, the bad Klaus, remember the bad one, I'm, I'm, I'm the good one. All right, we've got XRP up on the screen right now. That's it, we're talking price today, everyone. 48.5 cents, up 12.4% in the last 24 hours. And the big story that coincides with that is two things here. Ethereum, under 1,300. They just had the merge, everyone. Yep, the merge that got energy regulators off their back as they went to proof of stake hasn't done a thing for them. Ethereum struggling to hold 1300 right now at 1290. The other big story, Bitcoin, everyone. Bitcoin is struggling massively. Can't even hold on to 19. Can't even hold on to 18.8. Nope, holding on right now only to 18.682, down 1% in the last 24 hours. All this negative pressure regarding Bitcoin has to deal with several different factors. All right, firstly, right, Bitcoin, all right, now they are the energy hog. Yep, they always were. But now with Ethereum over to proof of stake, that puts all green energy concerns of, you know, binding Bitcoin, bam, that's it. They are spot light. And the other thing, Ooh, what about El Salvador? Yep, it's been a year of El Salvador having Bitcoin as legal tender. It has not gone well. So we're seeing a lot of negative pressure, Ethereum and Bitcoin. XRP though is soaring 12.3% over the last hour. And let's get into what's going on with that. And I've got to share more Ripple Labs XRP news with you. Yep, XRP price goes wild after Brad is out there late night interview and I'm gonna share it with you why because as always any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below yep Brad Garlinghouse was out there I've got the interview for you on Fox Business News if you want to watch it in your entirety you are welcome to do so we're gonna play a short clip right here a memorable part and then we're gonna get back into the news Congress gives the SEC power the SEC can't just take power what the what the power says today for 1933 Securities Act said that you have to have an investment contract. So in, as you'll see in our motion for summary judgment, the first- Very important there, yep, you do. You need an investment contract. But remember though, Gary Gensler in the SEC is gonna come back and say, hey, guess what? You may have that point, but we have the point of we know that people are buying XRP for purely speculative reasons, which falls under the whole securities umbrella. See, so there is, there's a point and counterpoint here. Again, if you wanna watch the whole thing, I'll have it linked in the description below. But the price has gone wild. Right now we're looking at market cap for XRP, sixth ranked right now, 24.1 billion. The next thing is Binance BUSD at 20.5 billion. Now remember Cardano and XRP were fighting back and forth for market cap. Cardano has slid back to 15.4 billion, 9 billion behind XRP market cap wise. All right, so XRP up on the screen right now, and you could see we got up there, everyone. Yep, 54,178, but right now back down to 48,5. But let's take a bigger look at this movement and see where it started. Yep, the low of recent times, September 16th, and look at the movement from 32 cents, everyone, all the way up to 50. Four cents. That is a massive movement in a short amount of time. And a lot of it does have to do with Gary Gensler and the SEC. A lot of people are feeling bullish that the SEC is overreaching and that they really don't have a case with Ripple Labs, XRP. Now, the problem is though, is I think there's a lot of this pressure right here price-wise has been put on the idea of summary judgment going through. Now, if summary judgment doesn't go through, which we have a few months until that happens, I released a video on the dates with that a few days ago, but if summary judgment does not go through, right? If it's not granted, then guess what? We've got months and months and months after that because then we would be going to trial. So is this pre-summary judgment pricing built in, right? buy the rumor, sell the news, or is something else going on here, right? Is the market starting to separate? Are alts starting to pop? 
I've got a lot of really smart and informed viewers out there and I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what is fueling this rally right now. Is it SEC being pushed back a little bit? Is it Brad Garlinghouse being out there on Fox going, hey, this is what's going on? Let me know in the comments below. You know I'm going to read them. And yes, I reply to a whole bunch of them. But really big to see here that the ETH merge nothing did nothing for it price wise bitcoin now yeah i get it i get it right they're going to be kind of more classified as a commodity a little cftc action going on not sec gary gensler but here's the problem commodity or not the world's focus for green energy world economic form we talked about that in the earlier video with uh, ugh, klaus schwab the bad klaus but think about that energy concerns it all goes on bitcoin now see before it was like people would look at hey bitcoin is the bad one ethereum is bad but they're second bad now with Ethereum out of the mix with proof of stake, otherwise known as piece of shit, because that's what Ethereum is, that now puts all focus, all concerns on Bitcoin. And if you want to learn more about Klaus Schwab, yes, the evil Klaus, check out this video right here. It involves XRP, XLM, Stellar Development Foundation, Ripple Apps. Interesting watch. Take care. Have a great rest of your Friday.